Okay. So let us. So today, um, today I have uh, decided that we are going to tackle the script. I mean the UI, the user interface, and try to design it in a way that can that can that actually makes sense. So we will begin with uh, these buttons. So right now, you guys, you can see there is a joystick and there is a button, an attack button, jump button, and an interrupt button. <coughs> for the user interface, <coughs> sorry for that. The user interface comes over here, as you can see it. So what you what you need to do is here there is one. And this one is the already pre-made and prefabricated one. So it has a joystick and a tap button, a jump and an interact button. Uh, but let us try to create a new user interface. Let us use commands. So once you click it and you open it, as you have already seen uh, in this zone over here, you have seen that there is uh, the the whole interface that is allowing you to choose the different pro project objects and uh, the repository. It's a huge repository of objects that have been made by the PTF team. So, of course, even in the UI interface, we will we will have these objects and the, like these components that can be used inside uh, as a UI window. So, for example, here is the virtual board, uh, the virtual joystick that that you guys have seen all over here. So let us try to in, in, to to put to put it inside over here. So once you have pulled it in, it's just a simple small division that doesn't actually have anything in it, right? So what you need to do is it come here. And it will have a default image section where you're going to insert an image over here. There are some images that can cause like this one. It's actually a button, but it has an image. This is an image which has been created. So what you need to do is come over inside the content and search for joystick. Right now, there are two different joysticks. There is... I don't know why it's been called the GTA joystick, but yeah, we'll, we can we can use this one. This one is looking good. So what you need to do, this is just an image. You will need to carry it and place it over there. As you place it over here, you can see over here there is there has been some change. So and then we can have our text. The canvas, image button, game button, the circular love, touchpad, the progress bar, and input box. Okay, let us try to use a game button. We want to replicate, uh, we want to replicate the same user interface over here. So this one over here, there is that one, and then we can create another one over here and another one over here. Okay, it's looking almost the same. So we will need uh, an attack button. So just come over here and say attack. Choose which attack that you need. Uh, I think this one is looking good. So you can even just come and drag and drop it over to the button, make it small. Okay, then there is this one. You can uh, give it the jump button. So which one looks more like a jumping button? But this one. This one can be more of an attack than, than it is. Yeah, let's just make this one the attack button. And then this one can be the jump button. Okay. 
then let's see what else there is a, an interrupt button let us try to write interrupt depending on how you actually think interrupt needs to be looked at I think this is looking all right it's looking quite all right we can come and place it over here and increase its size okay i think this is looking okay this is looking quite all right we can then save it and once you save it you can go back over here so this is the commands interface so once you just drag and drop it over to the scene you can see it's now being activated let us try to delete um, this one over here now we can actually default UI let us let us toggle over here so it cannot be seen and then let us run and you see okay this is looking okay so what well, you guys can now see that we have different uis on our page let us cancel this so it means when you actually need to remove let us go back and make it visible that means if you want if you want to change but it's looking really huge these buttons are actually looking so huge so 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 if you want to actually delete the default UI and encompass the first UI, this is how it can be seen. Yeah. So I hope you guys have understood uh, how to use the UI interfaces and how it can how it can affect the gameplay. And I hope you guys now have a clear knowledge on the UI.